What's up, everyone? <clears throat> you know, I've tested negative for COVID multiple times, right? And uh, I'm definitely not contagious according to the CDC, even if I had COVID, but I've had this cough and it's evil. I hate it because, you know, I'm at work, you know, and um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk to the customer, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to take their orders. And, uh, you know, then all of a sudden it sounds like I'm talking through a, through a walkie talkie, you know, and I, I just can't really mention anything because you can't cough in front of the customer, you know? Um, but yeah, it really, really, really sucks. But for breakfast, I had some toast. For lunch, I had a the mess sandwich at work, and for dinner, we had steak. Um, it was a good, um, what was the cut? One sec. I'm back. It was sirloin, uh, which is a little uh, interesting because normally we have something like New York or T-Bone, but, uh, you know, sirloin, it, it was also very, very good. Um, and it doesn't have that much fat, which was very enjoyable. Uh, yeah, and, you know, nothing's really happened today. Uh, today at work was actually really great. Uh, these past couple days at work, since I haven't been working uh, because we're in Las Vegas, uh, have actually been kind of bad, right? Bad things have happened, and uh, you know, today wasn't uh, much better, uh, but it was better enough to where it has passed the threshold uh, to where you would consider me like bad at my job, and I'm like, I'm fine now, uh, but I'm not good like I was before I went to Las Vegas. So, you know, still capping up. Uh, I think by the end of this, this block of working days, so I'll be fine. Speaking of work, uh, tomorrow I work 9 to 3, which is crazy because um, today I work 10 to 3, and that's kind of a normal shift amount, uh, but I've never worked at 9 before, and that's crazy because I think that's like super ultra opening. I think that's like opening opening when you're like opening, and I've never opened before, so, you know, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> right now, and for the past like couple days, I've been watching Quinn Reviews' 5-hour review of um sam and cat which is interesting because i never watched sam and cat um it started existing as soon as i like stopped watching nickelodeon um that's not true it started existing as soon as i i think when when henry danger came out i stopped watching nickelodeon uh but i just never really watched sam and cat because it never appealed to me uh, i i was really into iCarly though and um you know this is really interesting because quentin reviews you know i i always forget about him because he never uploads uh, but when he does upload, he just uploads these, like, massive, like, you know, upwards of, like, yeah, upwards of eight-hour-long, uh, episode, like, videos reviewing, like, every episode of, like, this, of, like, a, like, a Nickelodeon, like, sitcom. And, uh, they're very, very, very in-depth, and they're very interesting, and, um, you know, they're just, they're very good, right? They're, they're great episodes. Um, they're, they're great videos. Um, so, yeah. Quentin Reviews makes really, really great videos. Even though, uh, now this is some Quentin Reviews lore, uh, that a lot of people don't know about. He was really, he was kind of creepy towards this one woman YouTuber. And I forgot who it was, but she ended up posting about it with, like, um, she ended up posting about him with, like, his profile picture censored. Um, and it was, like, this weird DM she got. And uh, it was talking about how YouTuber wasn't. Uh, but she didn't completely censor out the profile picture, and it was like slightly the edge at it perfectly matched with Clinton Reviews' Twitter profile picture. So uh, keep in mind, whenever you're watching his videos, uh, he was really weird towards a woman. So keep that <laughs> keep that in mind, for sure. It's it's weird. Uh, but yeah, the, the videos are very good, and I've been watching them for the past few days. Um, yeah, you know, if it, if it makes me feel any better, I, you know, I'm using Adblock, so you know. I am using YouTube Premium as well, though, so I, I'm actually not sure how that balances out. It's, pro it's probably more money than than watching ads, um, but yeah, I think that's it. I've been studying every day for IB Biology, which is coming up. She emailed everyone who's going to take IB Biology next year. IB is kind of like AP, kind of, except I believe a little harder because um, it's like kind of an international class. By international, I mean everyone around the world is taking it, like the same class. The IB program is really interesting. And I may have doxed my school by saying that <laughs> I have it. You know, maybe maybe me saying all this is just digging myself into a deeper hole, but it's IB biology and um, it's going to be very difficult. And she sent out this email of all these things to memorize because on the first four days of school, we're gonna have four tests on, on all these things. I've been studying them, I'm very good at them. And I have, memorized 100 out of 108 things, according to Quizlet. 
Um, so, yeah, that's it. Yeah, all right, see you, dude.